Hey, what's up guys? Pallav here from nothingwire.com and today we have the brand new Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 version that was announced in India just now, today only. It's a 4G device, you can see it's a very colorful box right here and the MRP is 8990 but you might get it for slightly less we do not know the mop exactly because we got this device before release and then you have an s bike mode we'll come back to that in a bit some of the quick specs over here ultra data savings and 8 mp plus 5 mp camera 8 gb memory 1.5 gb ram usb otg support 1.5 gig quad core processor and then 14 regional languages support dual sim so let's quickly go ahead and open the box and see what's inside and as expected i think we have the phone so we'll come back to the phone in just a bit uh, we'll go farther in quick start guide and then the sar information regional log guide and other warranty card and then we have the micro USB 2.0 cable, one ampere wall charger, but this is no fast charging. And then you have an entry level earphones there, and then the battery. That's about the content of the box. Now coming back to the phone, let's peel off all this plastic from it. Whew, there was a lot of plastic So all plastic body plastic and then glass it, this part is also plastic, but it has this nice Aluminium ring finish nice matte finish that gives that uh, you know premium look to the body Your usual buttons and ports you can see over there Yeah, you can open the back flap uh, Although yeah, there's the hole Not very tough mind you there goes the battery so one sim, one sim, and then micro SD card, I suppose. So there's the five inch display. The resolution does not look great, um, average actually. And we can go to about device out there and then software info. There's the Android Dollipop 5.1.1. And then in storage, you can see 4.15 GB is available out of 8 GB. You can go to application and then application manager to see how much RAM it generally uh, uses there you go so it have lots of process and cache processes as well you can see out of 1.5 gb 745 mb is free so roughly uh well about 50 percent of ram is in usage although we do not have any apps running in the background so that's a high usage and the typical touch with ui you have the app dock out there and then you have the uh, Google Android apps, Samsung in-house apps, and then some of the third-party apps. You can see Microsoft OneNote, their Microsoft, uh, then some of the games as well, what Gameloft. Okay, but uh, the USP of this device is something called as S-Bike mode. So when you turn this on, this is specifically useful whenever you're riding a, uh, in a motorbike uh, or bike, for example and then you want to filter calls or you want the phone to go in that riding mode so as bike mode now uh, you can quickly enable it by you know attaching an nfc sticker like this to your bike so that uh, you can just touch this phone to that sticker and instantly turn on this as bike mode so what this does is that we'll come back to this later but you can see as bike mode quite uh, that's what i told you just now and then all the incoming call will be filtered automatically only you'll get the urgent and most important calls and then motion lock and then the smart reply you have to come to complete halt and those kind of things so it's easier and safer as samsung promises when you have s bike mode on while you're riding we can simply long press it to turn this off So that's the user interface we'll come back with in-depth review of this device the performance display and benchmark gameplay and some of the other things till then guys this is the samsung galaxy j3 2016 version with s bike mode thank you